In this video, we're going to cover using photographs in picture elements as compared to photographs as a background. Now, um, one, one thing that's really important to know, like in this video, we're going to use photographs that are all cropped to the exact same proportions. If the photographs are different, different dimensions, you know, uh, height and width, um, we're going to cover that in a different video. So in this video, we're assuming that all the photographs in the slide are going to be the exact same proportions because you will use a slightly different technique if they're different. Um, so right now the project is exactly where we left it off in video two. So to prep it, we're just going to delete um, slides three. So we're going to select slide three over here on the right and hit the delete button. We're going to delete slide two, hit the delete button. I had already imported um, two uh, photographs, uh, two of the same photographs that I've cropped them to the exact same proportions in a, in a photo editing program. Um, but now we're going to prep this slide for um, uh, for the picture element. So the first thing we're going to do is select the slide element. Um, in background right now we have a resource. We're going to switch that to none. And we're going to select um, the slideshow element. And we're going to put a background color on that just so it stays consistent across all of the slides. I'm going to select maybe like a dark blue. So um, now as we add slides, that same dark blue will be um, consistent throughout. If you wanted to change a different color or have a different background color for each slide, you could change the color of the slide element as compared to the slideshow element. So this one we want it to be consistent, so we're going to change the color of the slideshow element for the background. So um, now we're going to select the, the slide and we're going to go to uh, the elements tab and we're just going to place a picture element by clicking on the picture and it um, places a picture element right at the top. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to import a picture into that. So right now it's set to placeholder. We're going to go to local image. Again, I had already imported two um, images that I'd cropped to the, um, to the same dimension. So we'll go again with the, the same shot of Armstrong that I've recropped. I'm going to select it. Um, now, obviously, this is a picture element. Uh, any other elements are going to want to go either above or below it or to the side of it. So to get it, to get this uh, text element on top of uh, this picture element, we need to adjust um, some of the position settings. So if you select a text element and go to the position, position settings, um, right now it always defaults to um, static as the position. We're going to set this to absolute, and we're going to uncheck the top the top option and also uncheck the left and right and you can see right now it's uh, floating above the picture element uh, this text is a little large now so we could let's shrink this down a little bit we'll go down to about 30 pixels um, the other thing I'm going to do is um, on the the slide element I'm going to um, change the max width on this if you select, select the slide. Right now there's no max width. I'm going to uncheck that and we're going to go to about a thousand pixels. So um, at this point, no matter how wide we go, you know, it won't, the slide uh, itself won't go any wider than a thousand, which is so the photo itself won't go any wider than a thousand pixels. Um, and also in that slide element, let's um, uh, maybe let's add a little uh, padding to this. We'll do maybe 15 on all sides. And also for the slide element, you can see that we have a minimum height in there. So we're going to change that to zero because we don't really want a min height anymore. And after we adjusted the padding, uh, the text element now is a little bit too high. So if we go back and um, under the, um, the position, we can um, adjust the the top value for the absolute positioning on that. So let's change that to about 15. Um, let's check our other breakpoints. Um, so the other breakpoints right now, uh, we're in a mobile first setup uh, and it was carrying over from last from the last on the project. So we're gonna again delete that min height and or set it to zero. And um, same thing on the our largest breakpoint, set that min height to zero. So um, as we drag it's not getting any wider than a thousand, but uh, we want to um, select that slide. And we're going to do for the margin, let's select auto for left and right. And now as we go larger than a thousand, it should stay centered. 
and um, we can go ahead and maybe adjust the size a little bit on the the middle breakpoint. Change that to about 45 pixels, and then even on the on the larger break breakpoint, we could you know raise it again to let's say to 50. Um, so uh, pretty quickly, we've basically set up a a slide that has text floating on top of it. Um, now let's let's go back and um, we're going to go to the animation tab and rather than custom because we don't need to really do any custom options on this we're just going to switch this to fade so the slide will just fade in and out and we'll go back to the slides uh, tab and uh, select the slide element and we're just going to duplicate this to give us a slide too and if we go to the design tab and reopen up these panels um, if we select uh, this uh, picture element Let's change this, make sure we're on slide two. Okay, we're on slide two. Switch this to our second image that we have recropped. So um, we know that they are gonna be the exact same proportions. So if we go back to slide one, we go to slide two, we could update this text. And the breakpoints are following through. So Right there, it um, it works pretty well, and because these images were cropped to be the exact same proportions, when you switch back from slide one to slide two, um, the height of the whole slide element or the whole carousel is not changing. So again, this is really important, and we'll cover this in another video, that if these images were cropped to different pixel dimensions or different proportions, when you switch from slide to slide, the whole carousel height is going to change and that's going to be really you know it's going to not going to be a good visual element as everything underneath it shifts up and down so again that that is a you know a pretty important aspect of in, in this in this aspect of uh, creating a uh, a slideshow so let's do a quick preview and uh, you can see how the images fade one to another really well and um, it works across uh, all the different breakpoints, and you have text floating on top of it. So I hope that was useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to you know leave a comment or let me know in the forums. Thanks a lot for watching.